Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to Moonchild's Corner. I'm Moonchild Mercy and this is my mom. Hey, I'm Star Wolf. <laughs> so, today we got our next Witch's Moon box. Super excited. Actually, we've, we've had it for like a couple days, but our schedules haven't allowed us to open it, which is just, it's like that teaser uh, hey, come open me, but no, don't open me yet. So, anyway, I'm really, really excited about this one because I have guessed every single time it's going to be the the Maven box. Or Maven? Maven. <laughs> How do other people, I know people, I, I say Maven. I say Maven, but I have been corrected. Several and times. Mabon, or Mabon. Mabon. I don't know. Maven. Anyway. It is the uh, equinox, the autumn equinox, and it's the day before my birthday this year, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, it smells so, really good. It does. It smells kind of like fall in a box. It does. Okay. Oh, well, we'll see if I'm right. Because what the last two you were. I was wrong. <laughs> but this is September. Oh, it's very dark blue, which I love blue. I don't know. Ooh, we Ooh. got all kinds of stuff in this I know, one. There's two. Uh huh. All so. right. So, this tells you everything that's in it. We'll look at it at the end. Yeah, we'll set that aside, see how well we are at guessing. And so, but it, and it had this card, very pretty says, treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Ooh, that is pretty. That's very pretty. So this is the back of the um, oracle card. You can all see that. And then this is the front. That is very beautiful artwork in it. Um, very ethereal looking. And I like this, that it's, it's like the golden heart from Jack and the Beanstalk. That's what it reminds me of anyway, so. Cool. We'll set that one aside. It's a beautiful card. So we got our sigil. Finally, we got a sigil we, again. I miss did. having sigils. I know. This, this is pretty. This is cool. It's like, um, I'm going to say that these are the four directions. The elements. That's my guess. That's it's the elements, elements and, um, <laughs> and so each of the planets. Yeah, um... No. Seven point star. Am yeah, I reading it backwards? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyway. Yeah. It's the fairy star. Yep, it is a fairy star, and, um... So, those are all the elements. Uh-huh. On the corners, and then that's the planets. Those are the planets in there. Yep. I, I, if I remember correctly. So, those are cool. It's been a while. So, we'll set been a while. Anyway, Thanks. I started to sing the, what's the box? That's the thing that to know. Oh, from Nightmare, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. So we got two things for our book of shadows. And one of them is Raven. Yeah. Or what are they? Does it tell you a pronunciation on it? No, but, um. Oh, this is nice. So... Modern pagans. See? Elements. Yep. That's awesome. So on this, uh, for the Maven, and I'll just show you this real quick. Um, it's really pretty. So, modern pagans celebrate Maven as a time of Thanksgiving and the second of the three harvest festivals, preceded by the grain harvest of Lamas, which is August 1st, and followed by the blood harvest of Samhain. I know I am pronouncing that one right. <laughs> Maven coincides with the uh, autumnal, huh? It's not Sam Hain. Not okay. Sam Hain. No. <laughs> Maven coincides <laughs> with the uh, autumnal equinox, the twenty-first through the twenty-fifth of September. The equinox derived from the Latin from Latin meaning equal night, is a time of equilibrium when the veil of the seen and unseen thins. In the northern hemisphere, hemisphere the autumnal equinox designates the shortening of days and the lengthening of nights. Oh my gosh. 
I'm just, <laughs> I'm having a hard time speaking today, apparently. But anyway, I'm, I'm actually born on the cusp. Um, and I'm both a Virgo and a Libra, but I tend to have more tendencies towards Libra. So this is fun because it gives the correspondences. So like the intentions, customs, and rituals, uh, spiritual entities, colors, stones, botanicals, and animals associated with the season. Really, really pretty and awesome for your book of shadows. So got that one. And then what is this one? So this one is the zodiac and celestial sky <laughs> so i'll let you show okay um but at the top it tells you like the planets you have at the bottom like or kind of in the middle ish the you know different elements um but the will is the zodiac will mm -hmm. so it tells you you know what the zodiacs are and then at the very bottom it gives a description of each of the zodiacs yeah. Which is really cool. So yeah. the Zodiac and Celestial Sky. This is really cool. So just in the <laughs> little bit here, the Zodiac is a comprehensive compilation of ecliptic constellations derived from the Sheldon period, uh, approximately 1000 BC. The word Zodiac derives from the ancient Greek Zodiacos Kyklos. Oh my goodness. Meaning cycle or circle of little animals. There are 12 zodiac signs. Each sign has its own specific traits, desires, and attitude toward life people. So on most zodiac things, you'll always see kind of like the positive attributes. Um, but there is, there is a book that I have, and I absolutely love it. And it's called... Uh, Bad sign? No. no, it's called Born on a Rotten Day. That's what it was. And so it really shows you that kind of that flip side. Not that necessarily bad, but there are in each personality, even someone that can be very extroverted and out there, there's a small part that can be obnoxious, self-centered. So there's all these other things that we have to kind of try to keep in balance with our personalities. So awesome an awesome part to go into the book of shadows yeah because you know that is the main thing that we learn is mm -hmm. the different signs you have your elements and mm -hmm. so that's really cool that's it very is. pretty it is pretty and it's all dark blue <sighs> okay ready ready Ooh, it's black and black blue and black Ooh, it's very nice okay all right so we got <laughs> oh my goodness. This one is called Compass Sweet. So <laughs> that uh, one I can read. I think this is Persian. Persian John? Persian. Parisian. So, eight. This looks like a P. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out when we'll we find ready. out, but it's. It, looks like it has lemongrass in it mm -hmm. and I don't know I um, man it's on the tip of my tongue I have this herb I use this herb in a lot of my teas so this is rosemary like I'm not even smelling it compass weed this has got to be rosemary because that's what that looks like and then See, and I thought it said herbal. Herbal. Maybe. John. And this is the astral dance. I know yeah. that. And this looks like this has mugwort in it. What does that smell like? It smells so familiar. Um. Well, no, because I have it. If I went and I looked real quick at my cabinet, I would I'd, be able to find it out quickly. Yes. Really at the tip. I know this has got to be mugwort and mint. Although mugwort. Yep, that's rosemary. Maybe some catnip. Lavender. That's rosemary. Yeah, that's There's rosemary. No, I mean, like, the look, you can tell. Right. But we I, use rosemary in almost everything, <laughs> whether it's a bath product or food, uh, food or, or whatever. Rosemary potatoes, by the way, are the bomb. It's like There's mint. mint. 
mugwort? I think so. I think so. There's something else in there. Is it lavender? Or maybe um, marshmallow? I almost said marshmallow because it has a little sweet, a little bit of a sweeter mm -hmm. scent. So, but very cool. Well, we'll, like I said, we got three little packages of herbs that we will try out. I know, I know this is going to bug me. Like really, really bad. <laughs> all right, that's all good. Mm -hmm. Do I oh, have to? <laughs> well, it's because I stick my nose in there and just... Okay. Ooh. I like it when we, like, start taking stuff out. But there's not there's... that much of the stuff. No, there isn't. So. Oh, that is so pretty. Mm -hmm. it's, so it says Luna. Ooh, there's lavender. Is that, um... No. It's not chamomile. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Chamomile. <laughs> oh, lavender. Maybe caladulia. That's the word I was trying to think of. I was like, but there's so many seeds. But it's a beautiful little um, label on there, too. So, as you can see. It says Luna. It says Luna. And we're just guessing based on what we're seeing in there. So... I know my lavender. I use lavender in everything. Oh man, that just that's not smells nice. like moonlight. Like if moonlight had there's, a smell. I think so for sure. There's lavender. I think that's actually chamomile. And there, there's a small like hint of rosemary. Mm-hmm. You used to make a bath, bubble bath stuff for me that smells like that. Oh man, that is some good <laughs> stuff. Okay. Okay, so All what right. next? Do you want to grab? I do want to grab. Your okay. Turn. All right, let's see. Okay, this this thing is just calling to me. I have to because it's again being born in September. Blue is one of my favorite colors, although I'm not wearing blue today. I know that's a shocker. I know. But this is a substantially big blue package. It's a velveteen bag. Oh, I can't wait for next month. I'm October baby, so Samhain's my thing. I mean, I love all that. Oh, this is awesome! Is a tarot? Oh, we got an oracle, oracle deck. Look at that. That is awesome. That is gorgeous. Oh, and she's beautiful. Oh, she is. So, we can... That's pretty cool. We can set it aside and we'll open it a little bit later, but this is... Um, uh, we can make a video specifically on the by Lunea Weatherstone and the artwork by and Antonella Castilli. I think I have. I think you have a deck. Like two. I have my fairy one and my goddess set that is from this yep. this person. But yep. man, that is a substantial, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, there's some other so. ones she has. She has um. So like I have a fairy one, a goddess one. Um, when I went to Texas, there was it was kind of cool. There was this um, like archangel one that was really cool. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was interesting. All right, what would you like to you do? You like the small packages, <laughs> okay? Because normally it means jewelry. Yeah, I need scissors. Scissors. My hands are always right. Okay. Do you need help? Probably. Well, don't we all? <laughs> yes, but you with scissors. I should have brought the child scissors. Hey. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. What is it? What is it? What is it? That's a thing not to know. I'm not smart today. <laughs> well, I don't think you open it up. No, it says push. Where? Where? Uh, right there. <laughs> oh, push. <laughs> See, I'm like, no. <laughs> so is that our stone? No. It might. No. No. It's... But it's it's this two-way plastic thing, almost like a, a shadow box. Um, Maybe you can press a flower or something in it. That would be cool. Ooh, but a this leaf. Is, 
or a leaf, but this is a piece of metal. Okay. That's a type of ore. So, uh, so that's kind of kind of different. Show it yeah, it's just a tiny little piece. We will find out what that is, but you can kind of see how that light bounces off of it. And I'm gonna put it back in here. Look, it's bouncing. It is. Okay. <coughs> but anyway, that's kind of a cool little box. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll set that aside. Next. Okay, I'm gonna do this one just simply because it requires scissors. <laughs> Watch me just on camera, you know, have a have a moment. Don't have a moment. You've had enough moments. I know. They all have. Yep. This last week is has just been well. Actually, the last couple of weeks has been kind of difficult and draining because of you moving and got all that finished last Friday <coughs> and here we are on the following Monday week later house is just now starting to look like a house look like a house and not like I don't know what else um, hoarder's house <laughs> hoarder's house yeah my family been proud no they'd be it, like you don't have enough oh this is sparkly so this oh starry wisdom i think that's what that says but look how sparkly you can see them sparkles oh you can uh-huh they're really pretty so see i don't know what all's in there there it looks like fool's gold is in there <coughs> um some pyrite I don't think it's le lemongrass. I don't know. It's whatever the tea that I can't name that's like right on the tip of my tongue because I, like I said, I use it a lot and I just can't think of it right now. It smells like money. It like, like money. Like when you do a money spell, that's 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 the it smell does. that you get is that money sp spell smell. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try saying that. Money. It does. Spell. Money, spell, smell. Okay, well, I'm slow today. Okay. Ooh, this is heavy. <coughs> you want to do the honors? Sure. That's a pretty bag. Maybe obsidian? I don't know. Let's see. We shall see, but it's quite big and heavy. So, oh, smoky quartz. Quartz, yeah. Oh, nice. I love smoky quartz. I, I think it's prettier than regular quartz. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. And heavy. It's heavy. It's yeah. a good piece. It's a very nice piece. So, huh. like that. That's cool. A really good feel to it. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like that you can see kind of that pink. Mm hmm. Sure. Okay, so we got our incense. Yay! And it's giving us like, what is it, eight? Eight or nine of these sticks, but. Oh, that's nice! <laughs> we have to, like, fire one of these up. Well, we need to change our altar anyway. Yep. I need to change one. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is so nice. I mean, that, it smells like the the Maven um, festival that they actually had it early this year in Albuquerque. They had it over this last weekend, um, which is partly why I couldn't attend because I had planned originally for towards the end of the month and not the week after Labor Day. Labor Day. But um, it kind of smells, it, it's, it reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. um, going out there in the mountains and stuff like that and this the fires everyone's little campfires and mm -hmm. yeah it's just it's really good okay so we'll set that one aside last thing last thing and i assume this is our beeswax candle or at least a candle um yeah oh 
look at that. See, it's got that same stuff in there. Like I'm so tempted. Anyway, the elder, I don't know what that word is. It's not guides, is it? The script on it sometimes is, it's, it's beautiful script and handwriting and um, but sometimes it's a little bit difficult to, to read. I know people sometimes have that problem with my handwriting as well because it can That's be... everyone. Oh, well, people can kind of read mine. Mine so, is very sharp. So, mine's very flowy. <laughs> like mine, my air sign. Mine is like flowy but sharp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's almost like yours, only a little more... You, you can read the scroll. <coughs> this is so pretty, and it's sparkly, it's sparkly black, and it's uh, the embedded. elder guides. The elder guides. So I was okay. <laughs> There's a nice. All right. Among the moon, the stars, the sky lies the secret hidden high. But as I stand with flame in hand, the stars shine bright as the wick does dance. For as above lies the eldest guides, and so below I share these ties. I center my eye on the dark abyss, as the wisdom twinkles, I manifest. So mote it be. So mote it be. That's awesome. That's pretty. It is pretty. So again, when they give you the, um, each one of these boxes generally have um, the candle and a uh, Oh. And a spell that goes with it, and which is just really nice because you can also put it, you know, have it on your altar. Um, this one's sparkly. sparkly. Some of them we got aren't sparkly. I know. And it was weird. I know. It was weird. But I like sparkles. Thank you. Okay, so there we have it. That is what's in our box. This was quite the box. I'm gonna put all these little things here. Okay. Um, so we'll put this in here so you can then you now read what we got. Okay. I'm hoping I can remember the name of that herb before you get to it, but I doubt it. So, so again, every box you have your one parchment for your book of shadows or if you're writing spells, mm -hmm. neat information. So this one is Celestial Wisdom. Impossible to disregard, the cosmos have played a determining role in the patterns presented on our path. How easy it is to forget that we, do, ooh, we too are made of cosmic stardust, harnessing within us a limitless potential to learn, grow, and achieve. Although we are the ultimate key holders to the grand door of destiny, the universal stars are there to guide us through. In this very special collection, we have curated and sourced the tools necessary to connect to the stars <coughs> and the ever-changing mess messages that are available to us. Join us this month of September as we connect and become one, taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing rituals. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. The magical items in this box are as followed. <coughs> so the first thing is the astrological oracle. Oracle cards with pouch. Okay, which are these right here. Got a whole entire deck. I'm going to go ahead and open it up while you read. Read. All right. This beautiful 22 card art. Nove. Nouveau. Nouveau. Sorry. Art Nouveau. Yep. Art Nouveau. Oracle deck has been a favorite of ours and has been in our collection for many years. We are so thrilled to be able to share this metallicized deck with you to enjoy. 
These cards hold both star sign cards and planetary cards to pull wisdom from. Within this deck, you will find information for multiple spreads, including in-depth information on each star and planetary connection. We chose this specific deck to include in this collection based on the beautiful Ooh. artwork and meaningful reading, readings that we have been blessed with over the years. Mm, I'll text Coach Ray. Mm -hmm. But look, they're foiled. Yeah. So. They, they always... With this person, they are always spoiled, which is so nice. Because my goddess one has the gold, remember? And That's then right. my fairy has the silver. That's right. And I think the archangel, was it blue? I don't remember, because I didn't get to see, see it. Alright, where was it? The contact Did you lose your space? I did, but it's because my contacts are fudging. Okay. So, I think I'm doing something wrong. Let me read. You okay. try to open that. Okay, let's see. Where were you? Uh, these cards hold both star sign cards and planetary cards to pull wisdom from. Within the deck, you will find in information for multiple spreads, including in-depth information on each star and planetary connection. We chose a specific deck to include in this collection based on the beautiful artwork and meaningful readings that we have been blessed with over the years. These cards have always resonated deeply with the pressing issues in our world. For millennia, people have looked to the heavens for guidance here on earth, perhaps because we too, because we too are made of the cosmic stardust, we feel the connection between the patterns in our lives and the patterns seen in the night sky. The 12 star signs of the zodiac shine within our own human forms. As with tarot, we, rec with tarot, we recommend taking your time with the deck. As you relax, allow your senses to absorb the energy of the oracle. Feel the cards move across your hands, resonate with the visual aspects of each card, making a determination of what you feel from the card before reading information about that sign. Make this a habitual ritual while using new cards. These are sacred tools and can be very powerful depending on your attention and energy. Be sure to cleanse the energy of the cards between readings so that you are pulling information for relevant situations. We often include a reading during our meditation ritual as we are focused and in tune with our psyche during that time. We have placed your deck inside a soft pouch to protect and keep sacred the energies you use. We invite you to delve into the wisdom of the astrological aura. Oracle. Oh, your eyes and my uh, speech, man. If <laughs> so, between the two of us, we're balanced. But anyway, so Hi. yeah, it's in that Art Nouveau um, artwork uh, style. Mm -hmm. They're really pretty. Yeah, they are pretty. I guess. Okay, so so again, you have you have each of the twelve. Astrological signs. How about Scorpio? One? Scorpio. Okay, so let me do, just show the Libra because that's me and there's you. Okay, so and you can see kind of that that foil. Here's the Libra and the Scorpio. So very pretty. And then along with each of the astrological signs, you have the planetary signs. So. Um, let me show Neptune. Mine is Pluto. Yours is Pluto. See, Pluto is a t planet. Okay. okay. Same. All right. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, I like this one. Okay. So here's Luna and, well, nails up. Thank you. So, moon. So, Luna and Neptune, as you can see, very, very pretty. And again, the backs in that Art Nouveau style. So those are awesome because I don't have anything in my deck quite like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just um, the astrological deck. Yeah. So this is cool to have. Yeah, we don't have anything like this. And I like that it's a smaller deck that you it can is. use. So, but um, to add it to your tarot readings. Yeah. So very, very cool. Nice little box. It's a very pretty box. It is a pretty box. All right. So
So beautiful, beautiful card set. Happy to get that. That's a substantial, oh. substantial thing. <sighs> it starts with an R, doesn't it? What? No, oh. no, no this thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I still have in my head the the herb. I want to say it starts with an R. Okay, so what is this ore? <laughs> is this part of a meteor? Shooting star specimen. Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> right? <laughs> now you can see why I was so like <gasps> in awe. So, shooting star specimen. All right, well, that's just cool. That is. Something I don't have. No. But now I do. Right? <clears throat> we have been working to source these shooting stars for many moons. These specific meteorites are known as Campo del Cielo Iron Meteorite. Bleh. <laughs> that was... <laughs> the shooting star fell from the sky <coughs> uh, 4,700 years ago, about 1,000 kilometers northwest of Buenos Aires, Argentina. This meteorite is now a protected specimen and can only be harvested with special permission from the government. This extraterrestrial stone has been long known for having supernatural powers. Revered by many cultures, meteorite has been associated with the fiery power of creation and change. Also used for Kundalini activation. Did I pronounce that correct? Uh, Kundalini? Kundalini. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't. Anyway. The shooting star allows us to refine the vision facing inwards, awakening ourselves spiritually. As we work with the shooting star, we become more patient and persistent in regard to our spiritual growth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? It fell from the sky. I so think it, it fell just from fell, your... it fell from my hand. I think we're okay. <laughs> we have placed this, spe this specimen inside of a floating frame for you to place near your altar or on top of your cards to charge the energy within. As you gaze at your meteorite, know that wisdom is found within all things and can be available to us through the determined action to gain knowledge through practice and intuition. So, didn't you just, like the other day, talk to me about we should go to Argentina? Yes. Yes. So. Why did I want to go to Argentina besides The library. Pretty? That's right. There's a library. That's right. There, okay, so in Argentina, I think it was in Buenos Aires. Um, so they made this huge library from a theater, like, so I want to go. Right. So most people when they're like, I want to go to Argentina because of this or that, and I'm like, okay, why Argentina all of a sudden? <laughs> and then she shows me the picture, I'm like, oh my god, that is a cool looking library. Most people are like, oh, I want to go here because of the beaches or because of the mountains, the, mountains, the forest. Me, I'm like, books. I want to go here because of uh, books. Books, yes. So, Which, by the way, if you haven't ever been, um, Howell's Bookstore in uh, Portland, Oregon is like one of the largest book shops ever. So it's like stories. Okay. It's stories tall and you'll spend days in there possibly lost but um it's a used bookstore so you get some cool stuff in there oh that is cool. so that you don't find yeah you don't you don't really find because it's out of circulation a lot of it but mm -hmm. on everything but cool okay what do we got next Something small that my contacts should allow me to read. I'm kidding. I can, I can do it. So, all right. So this was the Zodiac and Celestial Sky artwork chart. This beautiful Zodiac and Celestial Sky chart was created by Adrian Alden, uh, specifically for the Witch's Moon. This specific print will not be offered on our online store and is exclusive to this collection. Oh. 
This beautifully created chart provides information for each zodiac sign, including motto, date, planet, and quadruplicity, traits, and stone. Include this artwork into your book of shadows for reference and inspiration. So, and then the next one is the sigil, the zodiac. <laughs> um, enhancement sigil. We have created the sigil with the intention of enhancing the strength traits of your personal zodiac sign in the center of this sigil. We have left a blank space for you to draw, paint, or write your zodiac symbol. The sigil can be placed near your altar or inside your book of shadows. I feel like we need to make copies of this and have all of us write our zodiac sign. I think that would be good. Including the kids. Yep, I think that would be good. For, for ritual. Yep. And the Elder Guides Enchantment Spell Candle, the sparkly candle. We have handcrafted this spell candle with the purpose of connecting to the celestial wisdom, knowing that as above, so below, the sacred time is for you. Embrace the intimacy that is created upon this pure heart intention. As you sit with the flame, breathe slowly and consciously. Visualize your heart becoming without weight. Begin to sense the presence of higher wisdom, allowing yourself to be humbled as a student to accept guidance and knowledge from the Elder Guides. As this candle burns into the night, allow the smoke of the mugwort to guide your dreams and enhance your visions. This candle has been rolled in the herbs of mugwort as well as anointed with spearmint, eucalyptus, rosemary, and peppermint essential oils. Um, We've also included a special mixture of our astro oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the rolling of this candle. This candle is accompanied by a spell for Book of Shadows that we recommend reciting out loud three times while burning your candle. And um, Moonchild Ari, that was the one that she read. Mm -hmm. That was the little scroll. And then the Starry Wisdom Magical Anointing Oil. The Starry Wisdom and Magical Anointing Oil has been created with the intention of enhancing the search for knowledge that flows through your life. As we go through our day, we are challenged with the task of setting time and energy aside for our true purpose. The search for knowledge and the practice of those things we learn as you anoint yourself and your sacred items with this magical oil, visualize the stars aligning in the sky to fit your intentions. We recommend anointing your skin, candles, or jewelry with this oil since you may become more in tune with the natural hunger for growth from within. Is that eucalyptus that's in here? I think so. That's what it smells like. We find comfort. That's okay. <coughs> we find comfort in knowing that this oil acts as a magnet to those things that we desperately need to enhance in our lives and our practice. We have enchanted this magical oil with cedarwood, lavender, rosemary, essential oils, and have included mugwort and leaf of silver as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz said to personify oneness into your aura. We've also included in this blend a special mixture of our night air magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. And it just gives a little thing. Be careful when applying to skin. The base of this is sunflower oil. Some might be more sensitive than others when in contact with skin. So I've never had any issues with no. some flower oil, but mm -mm. it's very pretty. Okay, Luna Goddess Sacred Soul. Do you want to read that or you yeah. want me to read it? I can read it. Okay. All right. Luna Goddess Sacred Salt. As you sink into the beautiful aromas of the sacred salt, that and so it begins. Which one is it? Hi. Hi, Xander. Hi. What do you need? What's up? What's up, Buttercup? I'm trying to read. Okay. You want to go play your game? Um, okay, okay, I will. I'll get you something here in just a minute. Hey, is Grandpa in there? What? Okay. Give your wrist. hand. Give your wrist. There. And there. And then rub. And then rub. There you go. Okay. Have Grandpa smell. Have Grandpa smell. Smells good, huh? Okay. Yeah. Can you shut the door for Grandma, please? Can you shut the screen door? No. 
Or not. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, that's what editing's for. Okay. So the secret salt. <laughs> As you sink deeply in Tacoma like sleep. <laughs> A bathtub. <laughs> Visualize a bright light consuming your aura and expanding around you. Relax and let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. As you clear your <laughs> mind and visualize this bright aura, imagine yourself charging your internal magnet and repositioning your compass. You slowly become one with the energies of the natural components Accompany, accompanying the sacred salt. Allow the earth's bounty to comfort and nourish your soul. We have created the sacred salt with the intention of enhancing the energy of the goddess Luna, which resembles instinct, creativity, luck, femininity, water, femininity. I have issues with even saying that one, okay? It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I'm only correcting you, not because, you know. I'm not sure. Okay. That's what we what? do. <laughs> I know, right? Water and safety. As the sacred salt relieves you from self-doubt and negative self-thoughts, it begins to fill your spirit with psychic energy and focus. We have enchanted the sacred salt with... Uh -huh. Chamomile, uh -huh. essential oil, as well as lavender and chamomile herb. Mm -hmm. We have also included a special mixture of our moon magical oil from our personal cabinet of the tree. It's so pretty. I love the labels that they put on these. I mean, it's like this old world look, and it's just, they're always really beautiful. They are. So... Once I uh, got something yay. right. <laughs> and I think I did this last time. Like, I, I spilled the salt. Okay. Anyway. That's what I was Oh, okay. Well, we'll throw it over that shoulder, too. <laughs> All right. Next is the smoky quartz. Smoky quartz. Yay. We have placed a piece of smoky quartz in this collection to assist you in connecting to phenomena outside of yourself. As the grounding energies of smoky quartz keep you present on earth in your physical body, the ethereal, ethereal sorry, it's okay. magnet that it holds allows fairies, spirit guides, and higher sources of wisdom to come into manifestation. With the ability to hold these powers, smoky quartz is then used to bring our dreams and intentions into physical reality. As you place yourself in a celestial mindset, allow the smoky quartz to hold you still. Yeah, hold you still. Bring knowledge and experience to the front of your ritual and practice. Affirmation. I bring wisdom and the experience of knowledge through growth into my daily practice as I connect to the all-knowing universe. This is really great. <laughs> Very nice. Oops, wrong back. Okay. I like the way they're leaving the herbs at the very end to explain, and I still, again, it's right at the tip of my tongue, and I can't. Well, next not. is the incense. Okay. All right. Mm. Seeker of knowledge incense. As you burn this incense, allow the beautiful, woody, and evergreen aroma to waft through your sacred space. Before you conduct a reading of any type of divination, light this incense to receive further knowledge on the subject you are asking about. We enjoy burning this incense while we take time to read, study, and document within our book of shadows. It doesn't tell you what it is. No, so but it is very woody, and like I said, it sort of kind of has that. Me. It says woody and evergreen aroma. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so the astral dance sacred smoke blend. Astral dance is that this one? Yeah. Okay, this is the one that I said looks like it's got mugwort and possibly, and it's got mint, and um, I think I, I said it smelled a little bit like there was marshmallow in it. And, and sage. 
see on my... Okay, there it is. Okay, so, go for it. This sacred smoke blend was created to be burned upon charcoal within a cauldron or small dish. We have created this mixture with mugwort, sage, and spearmint. As you start your ritual, we recommend placing a pinch of this mixture upon the charcoal, allowing the scent to seep into your energy. Hey, we didn't get a tea. <laughs> we got the burning. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Yay. That was random. I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it said seep, and that's it. Right. Anyway. Uh, allow the scent to seep into your energy. This blend is a great blend for banishing negativity, allowing for visions and prophetic prophetic dreams. Close enough. Cl yeah, I'm having issues. My contact light. Like... It's okay. This Let's blend can also be burned while resting by your bedside to include dreams that yeah, I don't trust that, but to introduce dreams that bring answers or even questions that may hold importance in your life in this moment. We recommend starting with a small pinch to see how you react and respond. <coughs> so, very nice. I okay. don't trust it burning next to my bed while I sleep. Like, I have a huge container of this. Herba John? Yeah. John Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, see, I know why we used to know my teas. So. Herba John or St. John's Wort is placed in this collection to assist you in recognizing signs and messages. This herb can be placed in a pouch or placed upon your altar to allow you to recognize the magic around you. Best known for its protective qualities, St. John's Wort can be included in protection spells or placed around your home to ward off evil energy. <coughs> Gender masculine, planetary sign, sun, element, fire, magical powers, recognition, protection, strength, Love. Uh, <laughs> this is St. John's Wort. It's not for consumption or making teas. Well, <laughs> maybe that one's not, but I've used it in tea making, so. Okay, so compass weed. Compass weed? Compass. Oh, compass weed, which is rosemary. Yeah. Yeah. Rosemary is one of the oldest used herbs for banishing negativity and purifying energy. While working to achieve astral travel, place rosemary under your pillow to ensure your journey is without nightmare. Gender masculine, planet sun, element fire, magical powers, protection, lust, mental powers, purification, sleep, and healing. Nice. Um, so... Anything left? Personalized oracle reading. Right. Which is, I think, underneath those. See? No. This. <laughs> Personalized oracle reading. We have meditated and selected a card from the Whispers of Love oracle cards for attracting more love into your life by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall to place inside your box. This card and message that it holds was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Let it resonate with you and assist in easing the pressing realities in your world. It is really, really pretty. It is. And, and again, what does it say? Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. So, very nice. And then again, the parchment paper we showed you earlier that you get with it. Um, and... Maven Book of Shadows artwork. This beautiful Book of Shadows artwork was created by Adrian Alden exclusively for the Witch's Moon. We send you energies of harmony and balance during the season of Maven. So as you perform your ritual, do not set expectations. Cast your intention and be of pure of heart and mind. These very personal moments are for you. There's so much knowledge available to you. We urge you to stay eager for enlightenment and open to the blessings that are so sacredly gifted to you by the universal divine. Blessed be. Blessed Very be. Blessed be. So we got quite a bit in this box. As as always, there's always a lot um, to have. Uh, but this was this was quite fun. I was not expecting uh, cards. Um, but you know, uh, since opening these boxes, we have gotten 
Oracle cards. We have gotten a rune set. I almost have my rune set. Mm -hmm. And um, we've gotten statue type stuff, goddess statues. And we got that goddess pendant. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we've gotten some really cool stuff. I mean, I, I've been doing this for a very long time. <laughs> um, and though I have a lot of stuff, uh, you know, what we get in these boxes, it just makes it fun because it adds to what I have and it's stuff that I wouldn't normally see. Um, more and more shops um, overall are, are closing down and everything uh, a lot of times is done on internet shopping and I'm one of those I like to to look and feel and touch and so even the places that may carry um, metaphysical type stuff it's a, it's a very selective type it's very a small selection it's a, it's a small selection and almost all the stores have the same thing yeah. so it's really cool to have this and like I said I don't have anything I mean other than um, the, herbs. the herbs but um, I don't have anything like this in my collection and mm -hmm. it's cool to have these I really enjoy them I always look forward to these every month it's my I get so much joy I'm like Whoa, it's the <laughs> witch's moon box so so we would just say you know this uh, this season just you know, look at what, where you've been. Um, acknowledge, uh, even if they've been small, acknowledge those, those mm. small wins, and um, and set some some goals for, you know, uh, for the upcoming months. I always find that this September, mm. it like it seems forever to get to September. Because I love fall, but then as soon as September it, it hits, chaos. it's chaos because it's like there's never enough time. Um, and sounds, something happens, right? So I mean, a, well, not this time last year, but at the end of September. September last year, I moved from Colorado to Farmington, New Mexico. So, right. And last week I moved. So from. Mm -hmm. Next door to back in, back in, yeah. The more the merrier. <coughs> well, I I just tell your dad because you know last year around the summertime, you know he was like, I just wish all my kids would come back home. And now we're back. And I really wish he had said, I wish we could win lottery that day. <laughs> then I would have had it at the house for all the kids. But anyway, so wish granted. He got what he needed, but um, I really am pleased with this. Like, I see the blues and stuff like that, and just being with this, I, I feel calmer, a little bit more balanced. I'm always about balance. Yeah. Because I'm always off balance in my life. Okay. So I always strive for balance. Um, I think it's the Libra thing. But I'm really happy and pleased with this box, and I'm so glad that um, the creators of the Witch's Moon, you know, really do such a great job. I, yeah, I mean, I do. I I think they're. I mean, we're not endorsed or anything. No, now, but it no, was. no. I just I am very appreciative um, because, like, a lot of my stuff that I had, honestly, with the moves and everything, I've gotten lost. So it's nice for me as well to kind of build up, you know, my collection and you know. So I I'm really thankful because a lot of this stuff like. You know, I'm single parent with two kids. I can't afford to get a statue or, you know, like the everyday altar type items. And it's nice to have this box that gives you like everything or a little bit of everything so mm -hmm. that you can slowly build. Built, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or rebuild in your case. In my case, rebuild. So I am very thankful mm -hmm. that we stumbled across this because that's what happened mm -hmm. yeah from watching someone's youtube channel yeah. off, and we were like what's that and i was like so really happy about this yeah. but anyway so that's i don't have much to say like normally i have more but 
I'm I feel good about this. I'm really excited. Third time's the charm with my guests. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because it's coming up. Yes, it's coming up, and which means I know you're really excited for next month. So, mm -hmm. well, I'm Star Wolf. I'm Moonchild Marcy. Thank you again for watching. Have a blessed day. Blessed be. Blessed be, everyone. Mwah.